Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Parik and in today's video we finally make the return to the sleep evasion hammer. As always there'll be a time on screen but we got a lot to change with this build. Okay so I didn't put you all through it because uh, it took 40 minutes and I actually ran through all my zeni and most of my uh, royal amber essences. But we didn't get a single augment to try and fix this build. I think I need build up boost as well as a few other things I could change but I don't want to like going to courage and whatnot, so we are going to go into my treasure trove of armor pieces to see if I have a build-up boost in here. There we go, there's a build-up boost for- so it didn't take too long to find at least. We got Mail of Hellfires in here, we got a regular build-up boost, more build-up boost. Yeah, as, as I said, I make a new armor piece for every single build-up made. So that'll work, we'll just grab one of these build-up boosts. And I wanted to change the boots here as well. These build boots are so strong. <laughs> you, you really- Really need uh, this in most sets. Um, do I have one? Surely. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. As well as I'm going to chuck Intrepid Heart on here, just for the playstyle adjustment we're going to make. Now, as for the playstyle adjustment, you probably, if you're a smart bean, you probably figured it out straight away. We're going to change into Silkbind Spinning Bludgeon. I don't think we need Keeping Sway all that much with this. And I'm also going to change Crater into Burst, so we can build up our Intrepid a lot faster and do extra damage with the hits that we do actually get. Because the main issue with this build is that we're not doing enough damage with the openings that we are trying so hard to get. And I think it's a perfect test, we're going to take it on with this level 213 Rathian. I want to make sure that this build does enough damage, and Rathian still have a, has a pretty high health pool, so this will be a good test for it. Okay, my dear Rathian, let's go, baby. We're going to run into her and then try and do the uh, charge swap through the raw. Now? Okay, there we go, there we go. Charge back at her. Yeah, yeet. No, she moved! That would have done so much damage. One, two, three. Just trying to make do with what we have. Go up after her. She should only do it once. Excellent. Okay. Go through it. There we go. Get the spin. Go back. No! We didn't go through her legs! No! Why? I even did that purposefully, trying to go through her legs there, so we would actually evade it. That feels so bad. So we just got a step smash, because we would have done so much with that, too. Let's evade and go to her. Oh, she didn't reach. Get her. Mess her up. Rustle her jimmies. There we go, there we go. Two, three. Okay, we're just going to spin then. One, two, three. Maybe get the sleep off this as well. No, the ledge! Why? Okay, I dodged through her, dodged through her. We can uh, land a thing here. Go! Excellent, we got the sleep as well. Let's just swap to uh, good old damage mode here. Oh, okay, there we go. 2700, Jesus. Build up boost coming in clutch. Go through it, and go back to her. No, she got staggered. Excellent, excellent. Okay, that works, we'll take that. Should fireball. One, two, three. Go back to her. And land big damage. No, the stun! But that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can go over here and do the spinning bludgeon. Yeet! Very nice. Okay, okay, we'll take that. One, two, three. Get the spin. Also noticed it always goes backwards with that swap, so you want to try and make sure you're like, uh, back is where you want to go. Tongue, yep. Get some damage in. Excellent. Sharpness is getting chewed, but that's okay. Oh, he missed. Pookie with that tongue game. Back up. Oh, no, he got mounted. Unfortunate. Oh my god, Pookie got rocked there. One, two, three. I probably could have swapped in and done a, uh, one of the spinning bludgeons again. Should also put impact burst on. That would uh, give us some more damage right now even. Might be a good play. What? Why isn't it doing anything? What? <laughs> I was inputting the impact burst and nothing was happening. Okay, that's fine. Get another one in. Ah, oh, we didn't have Intrepid. That's why we have Intrepid is for moments like that. But we haven't been building it enough by uh, doing constant hits. Get back. No, it got interrupted. I was going to go through that raw. Oh, oh, right on the face. We will take that. Bite. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. Clean. Back through her. Big damage, big damage. We take those. Two, three. We'll do it again. I think I go off the ledge here, actually. Oh my god, that was definitely planned and not lucky at all. Three. Let's go for the face. Yeah, yeet. Oh, thousand damage. We'll take it. Two, three. Smack her in the head. Okay, okay, cool. That that went much better. But yeah, that went so much better. I'm glad this is actually working. I really want to like this build. That's why I come back to it after so much time. And to see it work how I envision it working. We get a dodge and then do big damage with it. And then get some sleeps in between. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay, okay. We actually have Intrepid Heart there. So we could have just gone straight in. Without uh, any concern for our life there. Oh, I want to spin on that so bad. But we weren't charged up enough. Two, three. Just get out of there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. He, she's after her sushi. Get her. Mess her up. We've still got Intrepid, so we should be safe here. Nope, she's doing the dive thing. I'm trying to take it with a weak hit for us. Two, three. Back it up. Go over here as well. I probably could have launched straight after her, honestly. I forgot that we have this... This, uh, attack here. With the spinning bludgeon. Ooh, okay. I see you. One, two, three. And we'll go over here and then launch back at her. There we go. There's some good damage. I'm surprised it's going, doing really good damage, actually. Through there. Stay close to her. Stay close to her. And then launch it. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Um, I would have tried to go through it, but we were... How did that not hit me? We were in the wrong spot to actually land it, I think. Like, get the dodge successfully. How did that not count? But, okay, I guess it's fine. Get to keep her intrepid for another day. Dodge. Eh. Okay, okay, we'll take it. Two, three. Because you can also see it's doing so much more damage than if I was to just do that spin there. One, two, three. How did we do 2700, by the way? <laughs> I think it crit and she was still angry or something. No, the stagger was my guess at least. Oh, big damage. We love it. Okay, okay. Ah, we weren't charged up quick enough. Maybe I need some focus on here as well, if we ever come back to this set again. Oh, that's Intrepid. That is the worst use of our Intrepid there. That feels so bad. Because we definitely, definitely have to, like, use it for damage as much as we can. Go that way. Go after her. Yeah, yeeteth. Okay. Like, moments like that is where we want Intrepid at all times. So we can guarantee not get punished for what we're doing. Ah, I tried to activate it with that. Is she gonna go back? Go back. Not go back. <laughs> go up after her. Okay, okay. Just roll. We don't have to get hit by that if we don't have to. Spin. Yep, we need to go that way. Yes! There we go, that's what we needed. Ah, dang it, why'd she go after someone else? We really needed to go after me there. Let's go this way. Go over here to reposition so we can do this. See, that's why we got Intrepid. So we can try and land as much safe damage with that as we can. Why is she leaving so early? It's only been six minutes. Because it feels like it's working. This feels better than what it was. Oh no. Uh, just dodge to the side. Roll. We can't uh, deal with that reliably. No, we're going to get hit. Wait, what? Okay, I'll take it. Thought we'd get hit there because uh, 9 times out of 10 there I would have been hit if I was using the insect glaive. But that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, only one. She's also got Water Blight here. We might be able to... That's unfortunate. Oh! She's blue! It's only been 10 minutes! That's so much faster! Uh, please stop sliding. There we go. Land some of this. We should also get another sleep soon, right? 
sleep. Ah, oh, I tried to keep him sway, but we don't have it. One, two... The slide, why? Why did they do this to Hamler? Okay, there we go, there we go. We got some damage out of it at least. Can't do anything out of that. May be able to hit this if she misses, which she did. On the face. Okay, so it only does good damage if you hit a good hit zone, funnily enough. Who'd have thought, right? Two, three, back it up. How was that not a dodge? It's so inconsistent. Although that's just the dodges in this game in general, but still. It's really, really annoying that things like that are just so bad to try and dodge. Okay, there we go. We also need to heal pretty badly. No, stop the sliding! Okay, there we go. We've got another mount, but we're not going to take it, of course. She might actually be dead already. We'll see if uh, she hops off immediately here. Gonna try and kill it with a kunai. Disrespect her like that. No particular reason either, just to see. Yeah, she was. Well, that was much, much, much better. And as I said, Rathian isn't... Like, she is really, really healthy. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But the spinning bludgeon was definitely what we needed. Because we needed something that hit harder for what we were playing. Because we were basically doing like a hit and run play, but our hit was this. And that would do maybe 500 damage when the last hit of this on its own does like 500 to 1000. There's a much, much bigger difference. Just got to get better with the, the dodge because this feels so inconsistent. Specifically this half of it. This dodge here feels really inconsistent, but this one's fine. So, I, I don't know, don't know the data on the iframes for the yellow dodge. It's probably not too high. Well everybody, that was a level 213 Rathian with the Sleep Evasion Hammer. I'm so glad I figured out how I can make this work if I want to keep using it. I will say though, I think if you were to use um, Courage with this and just go Adrenaline Rush, with like a blast weapon or something that it would be better than this build here just because of how dominant courage is over strength because with courage you're also supposed to be extremely close to the monster to land your punishes which this playstyle revolves around or you can do spinning bludgeon like I did but either way I'm still super glad we figured it out as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one